At a campaign stop in Halifax, Justin Trudeau pitched the Liberal health care plan and warned Canadians about the plan of Conservative leader Aaron O'Toole. In the middle of the pandemic, the leader of the Conservative Party came out to support for-profit health care. That's just unacceptable. But Trudeau's warning was undercut after Twitter put warning labels on tweets by Christian Freeland for what Twitter called deceptive editing of a video of O'Toole discussing private health care. An edit that left in phrases like this. We have to find public-private uh, synergies. But cut out phrases like this. And make sure that universal access remains paramount. The Conservatives have written election watchdogs to ask for an investigation. But as the Liberals hoped, O'Toole had to answer questions about private health care. Let me be perfectly clear. I 100 percent support our public and universal health care system. The spat is one thing, the contrast another. Trudeau is promising $10 billion in conditional support to the provinces to clear up the medical backlog caused by COVID and hire thousands of nurses and family doctors. 7,500. That's how many family doctors, nurses and nurse practitioners we're going to help hire. O'Toole's offer comes with no strings attached, a 6% increase in health transfers to provinces every year. We're giving an additional $60 billion to secure that public health care system. What's missing from the Liberal platform is how much Trudeau would increase annual health transfers. O'Toole has made clear what he would give the premiers. Trudeau says he's willing to negotiate once the election is over. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa.